artificial intelligence and machine learning are being woven into the fabric of various industries, transforming the way humans and machines work together. Transportation, manufacturing, defense, aeronautics, and many other industries are using AI and deep learning algorithms to make decisions using real-time data that previously have been the task of humans. In the medical industry, AI and machine learning are being used to help diagnose patients, find superior treatment methods, and provide a connected data set for faster medical access. Although considered as still in early stages of development and implementation, its expected value cannot be understated. The use of AI in healthcare could reduce costs, reduce the time spent on diagnosis, and provide care for patients at earlier stages of illness. It's not a question of how, but rather, when will the technology be available to the masses and become an everyday tool in the healthcare industry? Explore what the future may hold in Mechanical Engineering Magazine's Special Report. AI is being used in imaging to diagnose anomalies that may be too small or early in development for humans to spot. Imaging reviews are tedious, and humans are humans after all. After spending long periods of time reviewing images, doctors or technicians may get fatigued and miss something they may have picked up on earlier. Humans get bored. Computers and software do not. Modern AI, at its core, functions as a clinical decision support. And CDS, clinical decision support, has been around for a really long time. The FDA approved its first mammography CAD, computer-aided detection system, back in 1998. And that's, that's actually um, a system that's been widely, widely used. Today's AI in imaging primarily focuses on deep learning. So it's a slightly different, well, it's a very different animal. Thanks to advanced hardware research, uh, abundance of data, we really only started focusing on deep learning based AI in the last two years. Uh, some of it is more about a more accurate, better iteration of traditional CAD, replacing traditional imaging analysis with neural networks. Engineers at the Southwest Research Institute, working with doctors at the University of Texas Health Science Center in San Antonio, in 2019, won an international competition in detecting breast cancer cells with an algorithm adapted from industrial robotics and autonomous vehicles. Medical professionals taught SWRI researchers to recognize cancer cells, and they trained the algorithm to recognize the images. But development predates that breakthrough. Zebra Medical Vision, for instance, is an Israel-based startup that began developing AI tools in 2014. At the time, there was plenty of research, a need for AI and diagnostics, but no real solution for real-world use. Zebra found that research was just not enough. AI algorithms feed on data, and they needed data that represented the population of actual patients, not just small data sets that represented a narrow research group. They also needed a way to integrate the knowledge into clinical workflows and a technology platform to link hospitals with researchers. Without a sound, comprehensive data set, Zebra could not move to the next step. So for two years, company officials focused on developing data partnerships with more than 30 hospitals in the US, Israel, and India. They collected data on various types of radiology images, X-rays, CT, MRI scans, PET, and nuclear medicine. They also needed data on lab analysis, patient admissions and discharges, diagnoses, and how patients fared after discharge over long periods of time. The samples had to reflect the diversity of the patients that doctors treat daily. The old adage is garbage in, garbage out, right? And I think that's uh, no less true in the world we work in. So we, uh, we work very hard. Um, firstly, to understand some of the data we have, because uh, in the imaging world, you have uh, there are quite a lot of imaging standards available. Um, the most commonly used is something called the DICOM standard, where you know images, uh, so radiological images, actually worldwide, they do have a very high standard and similarities. 
Um, but you actually have to do a lot of um, follow up to really understand what's in your images, you know, which types of scans you have. So we do a lot of work to understand that. And then, of course, you know, anything we, any um, AI that we're building is formed of, of, you know, in the traditional, most traditional sense, training data and testing data. With a comprehensive data set to build on, AI is helping physicians identify problems earlier, and just as importantly, decide on appropriate treatment and, in some cases, a projection of how the patient will react to that treatment. It is doing away with trial and error. Integrating that data into the workflow presents other challenges. A useful model should not require a clinician to perform extra steps, but fit into a standard diagnostic workflow. In Zebra's case, it partnered with workstation manufacturers to integrate predictions directly into software tools being used by doctors. The task was tedious due to the number and variety of workstations, software, and environments. Benjamin Gordon is the Interim Senior Medical Director for Imaging Services with Intermountain Healthcare, a Utah-based healthcare system working to implement artificial intelligence into its workflow. Workflow uh, is really important, and so, um, as we've kind of talked with a lot of different AI vendors um, and even some some uh, internally developed kind of AI tools that might be available, uh, integrating that into the workflow is uh, paramount in part importance. Um, we have found you know, within radiology, there, there have been all sorts of tools that have been available to the radiologists, um, but typically they, these, were, these were tools that were available on a specific workstation. So the radiologist would have to get up from what they're doing outside of their workflow, go to another computer, log on with cr different credentials, find uh, the case that they're looking for and uh, manipulate the images that way to, to have, utilize some, some sort of tool. And they were just never utilized because the workflow didn't allow them to do that in an easy way. We, we, we had the same impression with uh, the workflow with AI that yes, all these tools can be available and they can, they, they can do great things, but unless they're uh, available to the radiologists in their native workflow, they're typically not going to be utilized. Intermountain has partnered with Zebra to bring AI into its workflow, but also developed a tool using its own programmers to help integrate AI. One of the main goals is standardizing processes with an eye on bettering patient care and decreasing costs. Medical data can be messy. There are many variations in physicians' notes and data annotations. The challenge is harmonizing the data into a standard format that can be used throughout. Zebra now offers four AI diagnostic tools, targeting the chest, cranium, back, and bones. Other diagnostic tools and medical devices also are being fitted with AI, but the applications and therapeutics are not as advanced. AI holds great promise in the treatment of cancer. Early detection and treatment generally translate to higher survival rates. AI diagnostic tools now can point to some early cancers because of their ability to recognize complex patterns in medical data. But the next step, treatment planning, exposes them to higher amounts of radiation from multiple imaging scans needed to identify, measure, and precisely locate tumors. Radiation also is often used in treatment to kill cancer cells. Better images would allow a physician to develop an improved treatment plan with a more precise delivery of radiation dosage. Ren Lei is a professor at the University of Maryland School of Medicine and Director of Medical Physics Research in the Department of Radiation Oncology. His research focuses on improving those images using AI so that fewer images are needed, especially for 3D CT scans. And that degraded quality can limit our precision in uh, positioning the patient, and that can uh, lead to treatment errors and induce more toxicities and reduce the tumor control of the patient. For instance, some therapeutic AI software solutions are already being used by physicians for automatic tissue segmentation. When planning how to attack a patient's tumor, physicians first must break down its physical properties and dimensions. They have to know its size, location, and proximity to healthy organs or tissue. But tissue segmentation and contouring are generally time-consuming, and methods vary between physicians. AI speeds up the process, improves efficiency, and provides a level of standardization. 
Some studies show it also improves the quality of contouring. Other applications are available for treatment planning, another time-consuming task. After studying a tumor's size and location, doctors must precisely determine the dosages and angles needed to deliver radiation to the correct location. Higher doses must be sent to the tumor, but they also have to limit tissue-destroying radiation to adjoining healthy tissue. Early examples of such AI tools have reduced planning for breast cancer treatments from hours to minutes. The Mayo Clinic and Google are building a similar tool that will guide radiation therapy in the head and neck, a particularly complex location. AI's potential benefits have certainly excited clinicians and doctors, but many remain cautious. AI will not replace a doctor, but medical professionals must adapt to the new diagnostic tools. Some are skeptical. Doctors are trained on how to diagnose and propose the proper treatment of a disease or condition. As these tools are developed, some practitioners see these models as a black box because they don't understand their steps in decision-making. But the technology is advancing and being built around clinical guidelines. So far, radiologists have primarily used AI tools, which interpret medical images, but do not direct treatment. In the next five years, tools will have more depth and more correlation with imaging findings and the actual outcome of the patient based on early diagnosis and treatment recommendations. Practitioners expect AI to move from radiology into other specialties, becoming more precise as deep learning algorithms feed off even more data. But they also must make sense financially. Early AI healthcare tools have been viewed with interest, but as the technology matures, so must financial models. Another big challenge going forward is the establishment of common standards. Tools are being developed with different data sets, and practitioners must know that data going into the algorithm development is representative of the overall population. Standards is probably the biggest challenge and also bias. In radiology, we face a bigger problem in bias and um, on making sure that the data going into the AI is representative. And the reason is because with deep learning, a lot of the algorithm is a black box when they come to us. We're not quite sure. We can ask people, we can ask the vendor, ask the researcher, but we're not really sure uh, of the data that went into the training. It could have a imbalance in race, gender, disease states, anything along those lines. So a lot of some of the challenges surrounding integrating that product with our information is actually um, it's a challenge that we, we have to do through what we call blind testing and just putting data in, seeing the output, compare it with our ground truth, the expert opinion, and making sure that it's actually um, equitable and as well as accurate. AI will become an even more valuable tool in improving the efficiency and quality of clinical practice through every step of the workflow. AI looks not to replace the human role filled by doctors and nurses, but rather will function as an assistant in any step that requires human action. Artificial intelligence will work with medical professionals to bring greater efficiencies while lowering the cost of healthcare, revolutionizing the landscape of modern healthcare. <laughs>